Alright guys, Heat King here, bringing you a discussion video uh, regarding, uh, well, Dead Space. So yeah, I played the uh, Dead Space remake, I loved it. I haven't 100%ed it yet, I'm uh, going to give that a rest because it is a bit of an exhausting and tiring experience. But yeah, Dead Space remake came out, it was down, it was bloody well good, better than Callisto Protocol. Sorry, it has to be said, it was better, like a mode of, mode of proved themselves. And now, uh, recently, apparently, people have been getting surveys from EA asking them if they, you know, if they want to see a Dead Space Two remake or a Dead Space Three remake. Apparently, uh, so I think at this point, it's pretty obvious what Motive is going to do next after Iron Man, because you got to keep in mind, guys, Motive is working on Iron Man. And yeah, before I get started further, remember to like and subscribe. I keep forgetting that. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, Motive is doing Iron Man next. Uh, God knows when that's going to come out. I predict 2025 at best because it feels like I feels it feels like they're a fast studio when it comes to making games. Uh, because Dead Space remake was announced what at the end of 2021, and then throughout 2022 we were just getting the, the development videos and that and such, and then early release in 2023. So I, I feel like I feel like that you know they're a company that can get stuff done in two years and i feel like that game that iron man game will most likely come out at best it will come out at the end of 2024 if we're lucky if if they have started working on it already or they have a few team members working on that while they were finishing up dead space remake but uh it it brings up it brings up a conflict here it brings up a conflict because uh while a lot of people and fans are happy that dead space is back and while a lot of fans would be happy to get a remake of two and three I personally would want to jump straight ahead to Dead Space 4 because, yeah, I just want the story to be wrapped up. I want the story to have a conclusion because Dead Space 3 did not conclude the story. It ended on a massive cliffhanger and Visceral Studios, the original studio for Dead Space, even said that, that they were setting up Dead Space 4 and that they were going to do Dead Space 4 next with Ellie as the main character and, you know, dealing with space aspects and planet crackers, I think, and fighting the Brother Moons and another unknown threat. And we were going to finally get some big answers. But that didn't happen because of Dead Space 3 doing very, very poorly. And that's another problem. Even Dead Space 2 for EA standards did very poorly. And that's one of the reasons why they decided to have the team make Dead Space 3 into an action game. And that did not work out at all. It didn't, it didn't make anyone happy. So that's one of the biggest problems because it's like, on one hand, we can get a remake for Dead Space 2, but if the game doesn't do to the standards that EA wants, it's very likely that Dead Space 3 remake won't happen then. And therefore we won't even get Dead Space 4, and therefore we won't get a conclusion to the story. And if Dead Space 2 remake does well, and we get Dead Space 3 remake next, that game is not good. Okay, I'm 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 not I'm not the biggest hate of Dead Space 3. I've only but but I have to say but I've only ever played the game once. And I tried replaying it again and I couldn't. Um because none of the soul and heart of Dead Space 1 and 2 are in that game. It's it's a straight up action game, which is not a bad thing, you know. It's it's uh, you know some of the some of the elements of that game were fine, you know, the space graveyard, uh Tol Vastis or whatever that ice planet was called. Some of the atmosphere, some of the sce sceneries in that were pretty done great. Uh the brother moons were fantastic and obviously the reference in the remake, so that is a setup there. So that is canon, that is going to happen if they do a Dead Space 3 remake, the brother moons are going to be in there. Uh, but, uh, as a game itself, it wasn't very well done, okay, it feels like it was all over the place, the story wasn't very good, you had that forced love triangle, a lot of the side characters didn't hit, a lot of dumb decisions in that game, um, it didn't do what 1 and 2 did, it didn't have that feel, it was very different, and you can still, you can, you can make an action game and still have it be scary, and there are moments in that game where it did have the horror element, but, uh, as a whole, it just wasn't very well. And uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about that game. Something, sorry about that. I don't know what it was about that game. The pacing and everything just seemed very, very off. And that's the biggest problem of Dead Space 3 is, if you remake Dead Space 2, which is a great game, by the way, and really, like, I don't see the need to remake it because I don't, I don't see what you could improve in that. Obviously, besides making the sprawl open world somewhat. But it's a game that always pushes you forward. You don't really go back and visit other areas similar to Dead Space 1. Uh, you're always going forward. Uh, so it would be weird to sort of make that into like, you know, a Metrovanian style game similar to what they did with the Ishimura with Dead Space 1. They could do it. 
and then obviously when you get to a certain point when you get to earth garb that's when it's when that's when it becomes a point of okay if we go this way there's a it's a point of no return so they could they could maybe do that and expand upon it and make it bigger and better um but then the problem comes with Dead Space 3 and it's like, do you want to see a remake of that or do you want to see them completely change and overhaul the game? Because then, because there's a remake and then there's a reimagining and that's the thing you need to think about. Do you want to reimagine Dead Space 2 or do you want to remake it? And personally, I'd say remake it, obviously. Make it, make, do what you did with Dead Space 1 remake. Remake it, make it true, just make it better and make the gameplay tighter, add some new elements to it to separate it, etc., etc. Maybe some new story elements or some different characterizations, if you will, but overall keep it the same. Uh, but with Dead Space 3 Remake, you'd have to completely change the game because the way that game is, it's 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 just not great, really. Honestly, it really isn't. So, And like I said, it's not bad. It's just not a good Dead Space game, and that's the biggest problem. That's the biggest hurdle you sort of have to face. And then there's the fact that because it's the it's considered the black sheep of the series, I doubt there's a lot of love for that game to begin with. Like it's got its fans, obviously, but not enough the way that one and two had. And that's the biggest problem of that game. It's like, do you remake it or do you just jump straight to Dead Space Four, maybe, or or do you make Dead Space Four into into the new Dead Space Three? That's a thing to consider. You're like you ignore what happened with this game and you do that instead because there's a lot of loose sense in the series that were never wrapped up you know you still have the overseers and especially you have lexi and her child and we we never know what happened with her like they they they, they were setting you know the dlc for dead space 2 seemed to be setting them up for an appearance in dead space 3 and it never happened so a lot of that plot line from extraction and that just goes just goes unfinished and that's one of the things I want to see in Dead Space 4. It's it's to see Lexi return. It's to see her child return, you know, her and Gabe. Uh, maybe retcon that Neil died or something and actually have him be alive with a cybernetic arm or something. Like, that was such a ridiculous thing that they killed him off and said, oh, yeah, he got infected. It's like, no, like, make that a hallucination at the end of Extraction. That's another thing. Would, would you remake Extraction? Because I feel like if you're going to do Dead Space 2 Remake, you have to remake Extraction as well. And even that mobile game, which I never played, which a lot of people didn't play, but that was important as well because that was sort of a prologue setting up the events of 2. So that would have to be done as well, like wouldn't it? Like There's a, there's a lot of things to consider here. Um, but yeah, like and, and, and the biggest problem with this is time. That's the thing you need to think about. That's It's time. It's not just concerns of where the history repeats itself and the game flops and then we don't get Dead Space 3 remake. Or if we do get remake, that flops and we don't get 4 and we're in the same boat we were dec a decades ago, uh, like a decade ago. It's also time because uh, we're getting Iron Man next for Motive. And unless they got two different teams, you know, it's going to be years until we see a Dead Space 4. That's a thing. That's a problem. So say, for example, Iron Man comes out in 20. 24 like late 24 or early 25 right we won't see a remake for dead space 2 until 26 at best and then we won't see a remake for free until 28 and then if they do a dead space 4 we won't see it until 2030 most likely and then you have to consider consider the fact is motive just going to constantly make dead space games if iron man is successful they'd want to do a sequel so then you have to sort of throw that in between the development of 2 and 3 remake so then the development time becomes even longer and we have to wait even longer for a Dead Space 4. We'd be waiting another decade until for, you know, for the potential reality of seeing this franchise story continued. And that's the biggest problem I have with this. It's like, I'd rather honestly get Dead Space 4 than get a remake. If you have to do a remake of 2 and 3, remaster them and just put those out. Just remaster them. Do what they do. What do what EA did with Mass Effect. You know the legendary uh, trilogy, and just do that. Just release that. Release Extraction. Release two and three in a bundle, and then and then obviously as a remaster, and then just have mode of work on Dead Space Four. Like, otherwise, we will be waiting properly a whole good ten to eight years before we see that game happen. Obviously, like I said, they're fast developers. Like Dead Space One remake proves it. But the main key thing with that is it was a remake. Half the work was already done. All they did was take an old game and improve it and add more stuff to it. And that's it. And that's kind of what they would do with 2 and 3. But 4 would be a whole new game. And you'd have to wonder how long development for that would take. Because there's nothing to work on from that. It would have to be completely built truly from the ground up. So that's one of my biggest concerns with this. 
Do we want a Red Dead Space 2 remake and free and wait years till we get a continuation? Or risk the possibility that 2 and 3 flop and then we don't get a continuation and then we end up in the same boat that we were four years ago after Dead Space 3 originally came out in 2013, was it? Or 12? So yeah, these are things you need to consider about. And I feel like a lot of people aren't, you know, thinking about that. It's like, yeah, just jump straight to Dead Space 2 remake. It's like, no, think for one second. Think, think. They're doing Iron Man next. That's two years. They're going to do Dead Space Remake, maybe? That's another two years. Maybe they do Iron Man 2 if it, it's successful. That's another two years. You're adding time there. Like, think about it. Like, I get it. You want a good game, but some of us want to see the story concluded. So you have to think about that. Do you want to waste time on, on a game you've already played when you can just remaster it and play that again? Or do you want to see a continuation? Like, and it's like people aren't thinking about that. Like, it's like, yeah, it can happen. And I'm, I'm sure it would happen. But you're not thinking about the time that, that it takes to make those games, all of that, to get to that point, and you're not thinking about the risks of it failing again, because this is EA we're talking about. Like, if, if it doesn't, if two or three don't do well, we're stuck again, and the franchise is truly dead forever, and it's never going to come back after that. This is a second chance to do things right, okay? We got our remake to see, to test the waters, to see whether people, you know, want more, if the, you know, if the series is still salvageable, and it is, it is salvageable, it proved it, it proved it, okay, but now we want to jump straight to a remake of 2 and 3, like, come on, like, I want to see 4, unless there's a guarantee that these games will come out very fast, and very well made, and then we'll get 4 straight off of that, then fair enough, but because it's EA, that's what scares me the most, there's, there's no guarantee, because at any point, if they don't like what's happening, they'll come in and they'll be like, do this, do that, make these changes. Oh, it didn't sell enough? Well, screw it. This franchise is dead. We're not going to continue with it. So that's the biggest problem here. And people need to think about that before they sit there and go, yeah, let's get a remake of 2. And that's like, no, no. Think, think about it very carefully because things could go wrong very horribly like they did in the past. So, but yeah, that's my thoughts on this. And I'm hoping it turns out well. I'm, I really do, but uh, for now, I'm just happy we got what we got, and we'll see where the future takes us with this franchise. Fingers crossed, we do get a continuation, hopefully. Anyway, guys, that's that. I hope you liked this video. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care, and bye.